Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Ooh, I've still got this on Euros. It shouldn't be on Euros. By the way, we have now got 371 large Heston bales. So just for the... Um, those of you who want to know how many bales we've done, those are right down the other end. I've got a few tractors running at the moment. Um, still continuing with our little ploughing mission that we've got going on on this field. But we're not going to worry about that too much today. I've got another section started here, so sometime in the next couple of episodes this should all be done and then we can worry about what we're actually going to do with this field but anyway that's not what we're doing today today we have got all of those bales so we're going to need to start gathering those bales up but we also then need to start working on that field so i've got a couple of things that i wanted to try and do today various different ideas um hang on let me just go into here now i asked you all a question last week which was uh which was, uh, what animals did you want me to do? Um, and I'm really sorry, but I've actually forgotten to go and get the data from it. But I'm pretty sure from when I looked at it um, sort of early stages last week, it was all of the animals. Um, it was either all of the animals or just cows. But um, either way, we're going to be doing cows first. I will get you the numbers for tomorrow's episode. I'm really sorry about that. I know I should be more organised but it just sometimes happens that I'm not very organized, and you're probably getting used to that by now. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, what we're doing there, and I really don't know what I'm going to do for my weekly question this week. I've, I've been sort of toying around with maybe buying up some more fields here. Um, we've got huge areas of grassland here that's not really anything um, done with. That's Those combines, I've uh, teleported them up there out of the way. That's huge areas of grassland up there. But we haven't really done anything with corn. We've got this massive great big field 14 here, which is all corn. So my question for this week is, do you want me to go down here and buy field 9, which is another absolutely massive field, and do some work down there? Or do you want me to buy field 14 and um, do some work harvesting corn? I mean, maybe we could try doing a bit of silage or something like that. That could be interesting. And um, like maize silage or corn silage, depending where you're from. Um, one of those or we could either whole crop this or just combine it and and do something else to the field um, We've got this road going through so maybe we could just plow the road up and get rid of it completely I don't know, but anyway, we will have a play around with whichever field you want me to get So do you want me to get field 14 the corn field or field 9 the wheat field It's your vote It's your game head in the comment section down below Let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget that she cast your vote in the top right hand corner and tomorrow I will be a little more organized. I will have the required um, uh, the required data from last week's question all to hand so that we can take a look at it. Now, do I get another one of those at the moment? I've actually forgotten to go and empty out the combines. Now, if we go and cycle through our machines, did I keep the fent? I don't think I did. I think I actually got rid of the fent. Yes, I did. So the fent has been gotten rid of. Um, I've got this grain here, and I teleported the combines away without actually unloading this corn. Some people suggested that I should try having that fence back here and um, load it up completely and then dump it out in a field somewhere. So I will do that at some point. I've still got the modified fence that um, I played around with. That is in um, that is the, the the mod that is in my mods folder at the moment. Um, I haven't reverted it back to the original one. So, I do have that available to do at some point, um, which I might well do. We'll use this truck, I think, because what I'm going to do today is we're going to get a whole load of trailers and we're going to go and load up all of those bales. So, we got 370-odd bales. Um, I can't actually remember how many you get off of a... How many bales can go on a trailer? They only stack too high with those bales that we've got at the moment. Um, they don't go any higher than that. And because they only stack too high, hang on, stop, 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 and let's tip you out. Um, you know what? We'll leave that one going and we'll get another, we'll, we'll buy another one. So let's go and buy another truck. We can have two trucks. I don't see any problem with having another truck. Uh, it's not that one. It's that one right there. So select that one. And, ooh, what colour should we go for this time? I'm thinking purple, but I often go for purple, don't I? And at the moment we got red, and that's kind of the colour scheme that we're going for with a lot of things. Um, so in order to sort of, you know, as we we often do purple, we, we got the colour scheme going for that, I think we're just going to go for that kind of strange colour. 
I don't know what color that is. I'm going to go for red rims just to be different. And okay. Oh, I could have done with the back attacher on that. So let me put that one on. There we go. We'll sell the other one. Um, let's come back from there. And then I want to go back and I want to buy back the GT, the, the Fent GT, um, because the whole idea of tipping it out on the field is a great idea, except that we don't have any... See, we've got 8.5 million litres on there. Um, platform, front loader attachment. No, I want everything exactly as it is, so we just buy that one like that. Okay, come back out of here. And now we're going to want some trailers, and I will get those in a second. I'll just show you the trailer. Bailing technology, and we come up through this way. It's the auto load trailers. Now, these trailers here are auto loads. Those are all auto loads. The Joskin ones, I think I've got a, um, a link for them somewhere. Um, that one there is the larger of the dollies. There's another one somewhere. Have I got... Oh, yes, it's that one there. That's the, the smaller one there. We don't want that one. We want this larger one. This one here. This is on Mod Hub, so there is a link in the description. Um, uh, not that there isn't a link in the description. You, you've got that one already. So let me just get that one. And we got attachers, standard or plus back attacher. We'll stick with standard on there. And we're going to buy that one. Now, I can't remember how many bales it takes. I think it's um, five bales end to end all the way down through the trailer. So five bales, uh, that would be 20 bales on the trailer, which isn't a huge number. So I think we're going to go for probably six of these. Should we go for six? I don't know. Let's let's get seven. I'll get a few. I'll start hooking those all together because that's just going to be dull watching. Um, if we pull this forward so that I can start that one emptying out. I don't need to worry about anything else with that one. He can start emptying out. So let's go. Uh, I want to go that way. Go through all of our tractors. There we go. Oh, hang on. Let's move you out the way. Why? What's going on there? I think those two are just having an argument. Let me come down here. I'll set this guy going down through here. There we go. And you've come up. Oh, you've just decided to stop for no real reason. We can send you going back down through the field as well. And what I, I think there is somewhere that we can go and buy bulk fertilizer or seed on this map. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Sh I think there is. And that's kind of why I wanted to go back and get the, the Fent GT. Have I gone the wrong way on this? Yes, I have. I need to go that way through it. Let's ignore all the tractors now and those there right so i got that one that one and the fent gt and if we take a look at the map um we got the shops russell feed supply i think it's down here so if i go this is what i love about the teleport mod i don't have to drive around to try and find anything i can just go click like that right he's close enough and close the map now then we can sell... Oh, you sell straw in there, and that's where you sell stuff there. I want to try and find somewhere that I can buy bulk fertilizer. That's feed supply. This... Ah, there we go. Feed supply, um, fertilizer. One of those will be seed. Is there anywhere that we can buy bulk pig food? Don't think there is. But anyway, we'll, we'll get some seeds. If I go into here... Oop, easy. He's very, he's very keen, this tractor is, because of the speed that we've got available for him. I haven't changed the brakes again. Um, and start refilling. It's going to take a while. So we're just going to leave that one filling up. It's going to be 8.5 million litres. So that's going to take a while. That one's just going to keep going. We can see that it's, it's all um, running down. These here. Now, which one is the one with the back attacher? That's that one. So this is the one that I want to sell. I will get rid of this one. And I will hook a load of trailers together. I'm thinking six trailers in a line would be good. Um, don't think we need to have more than six. Maybe, maybe we'll maybe we'll get a couple more than six. I don't know. Um, and then I'll get to you so that we can start loading these bales up. I thought I'd just sort of show you the process of this a little bit. Um, this is why you need the back attacher on the lorry. It just makes it so much easier if you've got the back attacher on there. So we go back through and... Oops. I went a little bit too far with that one. There we go. That one's hooked on. So then I can cycle through and unhitch that one. And then I go back and I get another trailer. You don't... Um, I've seen people doing this the other way around, where they bring the trailer to the back of the line and then they try to back up the whole line and get it hooked up. You don't need to do that at all. Every single trailer that you get, you just add it to the front of the line. It just it, it makes it so much easier if you try and do it that way around. I am attempting here to hook up 10 trailers in total. So 
This is going to take a little bit of time to get them all, all hooked up. And unfortunately, there is no shortcut to this. Or at least not that I know of. So we are going to take a little while. I suppose I could actually get rid of these. And I could just use the uh, road train pack. That would make life a lot easier if I just used those and hooked them all together because you just have 10 of those. Those are smaller though and I don't know if they take the um, Heston Bales. Whereas I know for a fact these take Heston Bales and I don't really want to go through and check it all and find out that I've got it all completely wrong. So I'm just going to keep doing this and she's going to spin round. I'll keep working away at this until I've got a line of 10 trailers all laid out and then I will come back to you and we can check. Uh, we can sort of keep going. Um, as you can see, the money is still trickling down because our seed is being bought to be put into the Fent GT. Just back onto that one there. And if I cycle through a second, oops, wrong way, there we go. We are 164,000 litres. It's just now covered the bottom of the truck, the trailer, the, the tractor. I'll get there eventually. The tractor, the cover the bottom of the trailer bit of the tractor. How's that? Um... That is probably going to take the rest of this episode and a few more episodes besides. Because it remember, it takes 8.5 million litres. So yeah, we'll just leave that one tickling away like he is. And I will carry on with this. I'm getting there, slowly. So far we have got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 trailers hooked up. I was thinking about only doing like 6 or 7. Um, just because of how difficult it is to control the trailers while we're moving. But then I thought, you know what? Let's just go for 10. And uh, if we do run into trouble, we can just not use the back trailers. But I just, then I, I was thinking, you know, there's obviously it takes a while to set them up, but it'll be worth it. Because once we got these set up, we can leave them hooked up together forever. The only thing you can't do is you can't see which trailer you got selected. So you've got to um, tab through them quite slowly with, uh, you know, when you press G to go through to the, um, the different parts of the trailers. Um, it does take longer to do that. Um, obviously, the, the more trailers you get on. But we're getting there slowly. So here is number seven. No, it's number eight. Trailer number eight. We stick this one on. We've only got two more to do after this. And then we have our ten trailer road train. Obviously completely road legal. And used all over the world. In all sorts of conditions. Uh, a road train like this. Okay, maybe not. But still. This is going to be fun. I think we are going to really enjoy doing this. Uh, there we go. There's that next one. Um, we will load up all of the trailers, but then I was thinking there's something else I've been asked to do with some of the straw. So then I thought, well, you know what? We got that um, Gawile G. I, I have no idea what it is, but basically the thing that um, you can bale up um, all kinds of different things into bales, and you also have the ability to break the bales open, like I did over there. So what we will do is we will get all of these bales off the field, and we will find somewhere good to put them. And then I'm thinking we'll break all the bales open. And if we break all the bales open, we could then bale them back up again using something a little bit different than the baler that we used previously. There we go. But we will get to that. I don't think we're going to get to that in this episode. That is going to have to be uh, tomorrow's episode. And I think you'll probably quite like it. It's going to mean that we can do things a lot easier, a lot simpler, um, and just generally make, um, make life when we're doing our animals a whole lot easier to cope with. The final trailer, just got to back it up and hook it on. And then before we start moving this road train, we will go and take another look at the Fent GT that is busy filling up with seed. We are going to have the biggest stockpile of seed the game has ever known. Ooh, we did that wrong. Okay, let's um, back up a little bit and come round. You, you do um, master your reversing skills whilst doing this. There we go. Right, that is all hooked on and we need to go through this. Uh, like 18 times, I can't remember now. How many have I done? And there we go. So that's on the front trailer. And currently, these are on uh, square bales. And I need them to be round bales, HD, pallets, big bales. That's the one that we're going to need. So then we go two and go through to big bales. One, two, go through to big bales. I'll see you in a minute. He's still filling. We now have the whole issue where it's trying to sink itself into the ground. And we're only on half a million litres. So I don't know if this means it's going to try and dance itself out of here completely. I've disabled the um, the ground response mod and things like that. If, after uh, suggestions from a couple of different people. Saying that that might be interfering with things a little bit. Um, I think if we come away from that one. Maybe he'll stay where he's supposed to be. 
and he'd be able to keep on filling. Oh no, he stopped. He went too far. He couldn't cope with it any longer. So why is he sinking into the ground? I'm, I'm sure there's something to do with it there. But I don't know why it's doing it. So let's just try and stop there. And click refill. And then if I just move away from it, hopefully, um, by being a distance away from... Oh, no, that's not worked either. So it's now bouncing itself out completely. Um, I think it's partly because it moves while it's filling. Something to do with it. Yeah, it's it's... It really doesn't like this, does it? We've only got half a million litres in here. And it's genuine... Look at, look at the way that it's struggling. I've gotten rid of the ground response mod. So it's not ground response that is doing this. So maybe if we can come in here and, like, wedge it in here somehow. I've just got to keep the machine moving there. Um, we can use the teleport mod. We'll leave it like that. So that it can keep filling. It's going to try and slide around. We'll, hopefully that will be okay. And we'll leave the teleport. Um, we, we can use the teleport mod on it at a later date. These are now ready. And let's go. Ten trailers. All in a line. How beautiful. They're going to get wrapped around that building, aren't they? We're not even going to be able to get out of here. Because they're going to wrap around the edge of the building. Right there. Or around this fence. And we've also got the insane traffic that we've got to deal with. So... There is no possible way that we are actually going to get out of here without running into trouble. Especially as I can't get too close to that side. Um, oh, there, that's the end of those trailers. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, I am hoping that this works. Oh, well, I suppose actually the traffic is kind of nudging us forward a little bit. So it is helping. Oh, and we've gotten out. We've gotten out. Um, can I get this way? I don't think I can. I think we're going to have to go up to the next one. Oh, no. Now we are stuck. What am I stuck on this time? That's just not going to work, is it? Right, okay. So we're going to need to try to teleport us out of here. So the next thing we do is we press that and we press F11. And that is going to take the whole lot out. Where? Right. We want to go to field 17, but I don't want to be wrapped around a load of bales. So if I jump us in the middle of field 16... Whoa! And it laid it out exactly as it was. Oh, this mod is brilliant. Whoever made the teleport mod, you are a genius. Not very realistic, admittedly, but you're still a genius. Um, so, now we've got to get in and we've got to start loading bales. So, what is the control to start? Oh, X, um, we press X for work position, just like that. Um, let me set all of them to work position a second. Right, hopefully that has worked. No guarantees. Absolutely no guarantees whatsoever, but hopefully it has worked. And we have got our first bale. Now what we've got to do is get the other 300 odd bales that we've got lying on the ground. And the Fent GT is still loading. Some of the plows are still plowing, not all of them. Most of them have now given up entirely. Decided they don't like doing that and have gone on strike. So if we just, well actually we just drive around fast on this field. So long as the trailers follow in a reasonably straight line we should be able to get most of these bales loaded up um if we kick them away too far like that it's not going to work so it's going to be difficult to sort of look at what the trailers are doing as we go along um i'm still confident that we can do this how close can we get so that one's out we can't even get 20 bales because it does the two across the back so, and also, I'm not getting quite close enough for some of these, which is another problem, which means it's not going to entirely work. Although, the way that the trailers are sliding around a little bit does mean that we probably don't need to worry about it too much because they're just kind of going to rodeo themselves into position. Not like that. There we go. There's a couple more. Oop. Okay, I'm not doing a very good job of this at the moment. A bit closer. Are those, ba are those trailers going to snake into the right position? That's the next thing. I guess I'm going to kind of have to just keep going round in a big circle until I get close enough. Because some of those, the trailers aren't quite getting close enough. Um, and some of them they are. But, I mean, we, we, I want to I show this for part of the video. But it's, the gathering the bales is not the main part of the video that I had in mind. I had something else in mind as like the main part of this video. It's looking like that's actually going to have to be tomorrow's episode that we do most of the 
the bit that I had in mind, um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And I mean, I this is, this is working. We are actually doing this. It is work. It's it's not brilliant. It's not working perfectly well, but it is working, kind of. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Looking at these. I don't think I'm going to try um, strapping all the bales down. I think that the lag is just going to be phenomenal if we try to do that. I don't think it's going to work at all. I think I'm already getting some pretty bad lag spikes on this anyway. So I will tell you what, just bring that right. That's um, getting those loaded kind of. I'm very tempted to try to strap them all down and then move them. But I, I just think it's... No, I don't think I will. I'm not I'm not going to risk that. It'll just end up, you won't be able to see anything on the video, and it's just not going to work. I'll finish loading all of these trailers. It won't be all the bales in the field. It'll be most of them, but it's not going to be all of them. We're still going. It's still working quite well. Um, I am having to go a little bit slower because the trailers are kind of, as you can see, they have a mind of their own at certain points. So sometimes they follow along quite nicely. Other times they're sort of sliding about a little bit and jackknifing, which is causing some issues. Generally, it's still working. So if I... Oh, hang on. I got several more here. If I go up round these and sort of... I think if I can go curl round several of them, it kind of just rolls the bales along the sides of the trailers and then they'll um, pick up and um, sit on the, on the truck. Or the, it, it, like... It curls around the bales and then they slide back down all of the trailers and it will eventually lo uh, load on to the correct one. Although I'm, you've got to get fairly close with this. You do have to go quite close with the whole auto load thing because if you don't, it just doesn't recognise them and pick them up. So let me come up here and come up this next line of bales here. And I'm going to keep going now and load these up completely so that we can just have a little bit of a play around with unloading them all. Uh, before we go and it's I can at least make a start on getting ready for the next video which I wanted to show you where we well first of all we're going to be breaking open all of these bales again so we can bail them up a second time because quite frankly I'm not happy with the way that we bailed them up the first time so we'll go for it again and we're going to do it slightly different obviously um, I'm still tempted to try and um, unload all of these bales onto the trailers and strap them down I think that could work out. I think that would be pretty epic, actually. So just come up round. I've got one bale here all on his lonesome. So we can gather that one in, gather it into the fold. Now, with the camera chain, uh, distance change that I made on this truck, it goes back as far as here. So we can reach one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm kind of at the seventh trailer there. So I can't see any more than that. Um... And when you zoom right out with the medium settings, you lose all of the graphics, basically. We've just got this grey splodge, um, or yellow E splodge, but it is working. It's still going. I mean, <laughs> look at the trailers. It does take them quite a while to stop. I, I dread to think what it would be like if we do decide to strap them all down. I, I'm sure it could work. We've got four trailers still to fill. We've got um, six of them now completely loaded and another four partly loaded and we just want to finish him off so I will do that and then we can see about unloading all the bales still going it's taking quite a while now because to try and get the bales lined up with the back trailer you've either got to go for a long time in a straight line a dead straight line or you've just got to keep sort of curling round in a circle so um, and then also as you're moving sometimes the trailers kind of snake away from you so you get it lined up beautifully at the front and the back trailers still don't pick the bales up because they haven't they sort of drifted slightly away so it's taking a little bit of time but we're getting there i'm quite glad actually that we went for the full 10 trailers i think this is actually looking pretty cool so yeah we will definitely try the using uh, uh, strapping the bait. look you can see there that the trailers are drifting so i got to sort of stop allow them to all grind to a halt and then start pulling again and it usually gets them back on track but you do have to go a little bit steady with it. So how many of those bales we're now going to leave behind? We've got two trailers still to go by the look of it. Um, some of those bales... They're, see, they're too far away. They're, they, they're still drifting too far away. Um, and the trailer the trailer behind me has now moved a little bit. And that didn't work very well. So that sort of that pulled away from the bales. 
And if you touch the bales, it goes wrong. Everything's going wrong. It's not working very well. We're getting there. Okay. It, it, okay. It's working. It's just taking time. And I'd like for it to hurry up. That's all. That's all I'm saying is I want it to go a little bit faster because I'm getting impatient. I really want to do this. This is so much fun. And look, see, see the way that they just drift down the hill and tie themselves into knots. They don't really like it. I think we'd have been better off not having quite so many bales, but at the same time, having this many bales is pretty funny. It's pretty epic. It's the sort of thing that this whole series is about. Right, let me finish these last two, tra these last two trailers because it's going to take forever otherwise. Okay, now I'm just kind of going round in circles all over the field in the hope that we can get just enough bales to get close enough to that back trailer to hook on. We're getting there. We are, we are getting there. I've almost done it now. The dream is being realised. Ten trailers, all towing bales, all doing it. It's, it is working. Look at this. A couple more. Just a couple more. One there should... Is he going to do it? No, he didn't even get that one. Um, I, need, I, I think it's just two bales left. I'm sure of it. Let's whiz that one in round there. That way it should grab that bale there, that, um, the one that's on the inside. It got it. One more. We've just got to get one more bale, and then we're done. Go on. That last one there. Yes! We've done it. We have got ten trailers, and now this is where they all tip over. <laughs> Excellent. Right. This is, this is okay. This is a lot of fun. Um, where are the cows? That's where we're going to take these. Okay, they're just straight across. Actually, I think it's those just in front of us. That's sheep there. So right in front of us there is the cows. We're going to go to the cows because even though I haven't been able to give you the details of uh, my week question from last week, um, these, it's cows is going to be first. It was either cows or it was, I think it ended up being everything. Um, cows was kind of popular to start with but then all the animals kind of took over because I think people would like to see my take on doing ridiculous things with everything rather than just the cattle so if we can whiz over here we need to find somewhere to drop these bales um I think what we'll do it's just easy tiger easy tiger what we'll do is um rather than doing it up inside the sheds up there which I think is just going to cause trouble We'll go along here and we'll do it this way. So we've got all of these trailers. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through now and we're going to strap down each individual bale. Um, we won't do it by hand. We're going to unload and then um, automatically strap each and every single bale. And then we're going to have to go back down through again and take the straps off and unload them. I just want it... All I want to do is I want to move these trailers just a little bit with... Um, let me zoom all the way in. This is going to take a little while. So I need that one up. And we go... Um, we just press B and then L. So we go B to unload. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, unload there. That's unload behind... So I don't press B at all. To unload, you go... Which is unload? Y, isn't it? Yes. You just press Y. It's not even showing unload on there. So we go... Change the dirt amount. Left control D, change the dirt amount. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what mod is showing change the dirt amount. That might be something else unless there's something to do with the map. I've disabled the wheel um, dirt and I've disabled the ground response mod. So things are a little bit different on here at the moment. So if we put the straps on, we then move to the next trailer. We just go G, G, like that. Unload and strap. And let's come back through. So I'm going to just work my way back through. So I've, I'm on this one. I want to oh no, unfasten. So GG, good game. And then unload, strap. GG, unload, strap. GG, unload, strap. GG, unload, strap. This is where you get it wrong. You, you One of these you'll get wrong. Um, GG, unload, strap. GG, unload, strap. Uh, GG, unload, strap. GG, 
unload strap and then you press G once more to get back to the front one right we now have all of these strapped onto the truck and this is the big test can this truck pull them can they do anything here we go actually the truck doesn't really seem to be struggling very much I suspect these trailers are all going to tip over in a minute if we try to turn the corner with all of these bales on it's going to be completely different because now these trailers are really top heavy um, but we I do want to turn the corner with them I want to drive all the way up here and I want to turn round and I want to come back look see they're already trying to tip over look at that look at the lean on that trailer although is that partly the um, the terrain I think it is partly the terrain um, this is going to be difficult I think it's going to end up tipping these I think we're going to end up tipping them over I don't want to tip them over if they do they do we'll just have to sort of deal with all the bales on the ground I'd rather they didn't though I'd rather bring them over like this all the way around and then straighten up and go back down here and we'll go back along just in a straight line straight down here where it's kind of um drier ground I'm, I'm assuming the lag on this is ridiculous I can see the lag I can see the way the frame rates have dropped I don't actually have a frame rate counter but I can see that it has dropped so this video might at the moment be very very sketchy it might not be doing very much at all for you um so I apologize for that but this is awesome I, I'm I am deliberately doing this slowly because I would like to be able to unload these bales in a nice neat straight line ready for the next bit that I've got planned and this out here is going to be the perfect spot to do such a thing um, it's whether we can stop the trailers now I have just about run out of time so um, most of what I'm gonna do next we are going to be doing in tomorrow's episode but we have done 10 trailers fully loaded and then unloaded onto the trailers and strapped and so we're moving them properly the truck is not it's, it's not even breaking a sweat with this it's got no issues whatsoever with pulling this it is fantastic I have a mod that I will be using later on that um, Modulica has given me a link for it's on mod hoster and basically you can use to alter capacities and brake capacities and the weight and everything of um, trailers and that I haven't installed it yet but it does sound fantastic so we'll be using that later on to do some extra things with um, I'm not quite sure what yet but quite possibly um, well even for like grain harvest and things like that just to, to make things a little bit lighter than they are at the moment but anyway next thing that we need to do is now we're back at the front so I've got to take the um, just remove the straps and then press X so that they load and then I do GG straps off and load I will do this a minute to all of the trailers next job we've now got to unload them so I press B and then I just unload to the side so then I go G G B once to the side and unload G G B Y G G B Y and you just get into the rhythm of this with operating these trailers it works quite nicely there we go and uh, where did I get to no nope. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Um, I need to load those back on. There we go. G, G, B, Y, G, G, B, Y, G, G, B, Y, G, G, B, Y. Right. You, you do kind of have to make sure you've got a rhythm for it going in your head because otherwise you end up making a horrible mistake. It all goes pear-shaped and you can never do it again. Um, well, actually, yes, you can, but... So we need to just get these trailers away from the bales now without them jackknifing themselves and twisting everything up. Um, I would like to have another line of tra another line of bales all the way up there, but I think that's going to take a little while. So let me just come out here, and there's one more thing that I wanted to start doing um, on this episode before I finish up. Now, if you take a look at my weekly question, I'm going to buy either field 9 or field 14. Um, I was talking about doing some plowing on somewhere else, but we won't worry about that at the moment. It may, that's something that we might not bother doing. But yeah, do you want to buy field 9, which is a wheat field? And there's a few other options that we could get to with that as well. Um, or field 14, which is all corn. That's one of the biggest fields on the map, and it's all corn. So if we were to get that, I don't think we would combine it. That could be a silage job. But also the wheat field down the bottom, we could whole crop silage that. So we don't rule out silage just because we're getting the other one. Um, it could easily work for any of them. 
Now then, we got all these bales here. Great big long line of bales, but there was something else I want to do. So I think what do you do? You press is it N. I can pick up any size at, at the moment. I can, I can throw bales around without any problem at all. Open and fade bale is N. So all I have to do is I press N and N and now this is going to be a bit of an issue. I don't know how many of these. Oh, I can do it like this. Maybe I can just kind of do it like this. If I, uh, what did I do there? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in, I'm stuck. I'm in. No, it's not, that's not how it was supposed to work. Uh, let's fade that one. Oh, great. Okay, now I'm stuck underneath and, well, there's water under here. I wonder if this water here has got anything to do with the fact that the map experiences a little bit of lag. This one is still going. He's jerking and jumping around still, but he's at least still going. He's still loading. 1.3 million litres of seed on there. It's getting there, slowly. Right, let's jump back onto here and go back over to the straw. I'm hoping that I can unload all of the straw um, exactly where it is, but I don't know what it's done with that mod. It did. It went a bit funny then, didn't it? Oh no, I think it's going to work. I think we might be able to do this. Hmm. I Actually, I don't know. It might be better if I try to pick the bales up a little bit. I can come up there. That one there will work. But if I do this again, it's... No, it's not throwing me out of the map. Not yet. Not yet. Is it going to do it still? This It's going to be difficult to do this. It's going to be quite tricky to get this right, I think. Because I want to do this to an awful lot of bales. I was hoping to open every single bale and just make a massive great big pile of straw. But unfortunately, doing that does mean I'm going to... Yeah, look, see? Um, I can do it there. Ooh. I've got several that I can do this to. It's not letting me do it. Um, go up a little bit further and... And... It's doing it there. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not letting me do this properly. I wanted to, oh, there we go, there's one. That one will let me do it. And again, there. I think I'm going to have to work on this a little bit while I'm off camera because I don't have enough. I think I'm, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to separate these bales out a little bit more. If I pick them up and drop them down like this, kind of spread them out a bit. Um... Very handy being able to pick up anything. I really, I, it really is. Is it? This is gonna, this is going to make a huge difference. So I will get this ready, and then in our next episode, we are doing a bit more playing around with bales. It's going to be a bit different than today's episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.